Welcome back everyone, I'm Robbie. And I'm Jai. And we're reviewing another film that Jai hasn't seen, that I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, this is the sequel to the very successful Creed that came out in 2015, which is obviously continuing the Rocky legacy. Uh, this is Creed 2, these are my thoughts. What am I even here for? We don't do what we love. Then we wouldn't exist. It's time, kid. It's like nothing really matters to him right now. Including me. You gotta think real hard about this. Do you got people that need you now? I'm taking the fight. Creed 2 was directed by Stephen Cappell Jr. and it stars once again Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone and they are joined by Dolph Lundgren who returns to his very famous role uh, that he made famous in Rocky IV. And the film continues on from Creed 2. Uh, from Creed 2? Sorry, it continues on from Creed. Creed, yes. Creed. Um, where Creed 2, the sequel to Creed 2. <laughs> uh, Adonis Creed, played by Michael B. Jordan, has gone on to become the heavyweight champion of the world after his successful fight in the first film. Uh, and he continues his relationship with Rocky. Um, and a new competitor comes on the scene uh, who is played by... Sorry, who is not played by... Who is the son of uh, Dolph Lundgren's character from the from Rocky IV, uh, Ivan Drago, uh, and his son is Victor, and he is challenging Adonis for the heavyweight championship, and tensions ensue. I would imagine. Yeah. So, have you seen any of the Rockies? Uh, definitely the first one. Cool. Um, Do you know the story of Dolph this way, Lundgren? Put it this way. I think I've seen the majority of them. Okay. I can't remember. Right. Like I, I know, I know. I think everyone knows the story. Yeah. If you're, if you're a fan of the Rocky films, I think you know the story of the Dragos. And yeah. So I, I think, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna get this out of the bat, off, right off the bat, out of the gate, out of the bat, right now. <laughs> uh, where does Creed Two land for you in in the Rocky, Rocky rankings? It's yeah. one of my favorites. One of your favorites. Okay, good. I. Is it better than Creed One? I, 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 so I love Creed One. I prefer this to Creed One. Cool. Um, okay. and. It's probably almost on par with the first Rocky. Oh, okay. Um, again, it's kind of like with Mary Poppins. It's one that I love that I don't have a huge affinity for. So I don't have like the nostalgia. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't love yeah. the Rocky films. Yeah. Like I think they're fine. Exactly. So I, I went into Rocky and I love the film, and but I didn't have that huge connection where like you know a, a movie of say like Jurassic Park where the sequels come out that I still love, but obviously they don't come close to the first film. Right. This isn't that case. Right. Um, where the sequels have every potential with me to top the original one. Right. Um, so, uh, bear that in mind. If, if you're a diehard fan of the first Rocky, chances are you're not going to see eye to eye with where I'm coming from with this one. But going from purely just an outside of the Rocky franchise, coming to them late, this is how I feel about it. Cool. Um, How's Stallone in this one? Stallone is exceptional. So oh my Stallone God. is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, he is. He is just as good, if not better, than the first film. Okay. Because this is such a much more personal story to him than the first film. Because obviously, the first film, obviously, he has connections to Apollo Creed, and this is his son, so he's got those connections. Here, with what happened with this, fully touches on to obviously the death of Apollo and the reason that Apollo died. Ivan Drago is the reason Apollo Creed died. So having him come back into the into his life 30 years later is such a monumental thing for Rocky and for Adonis, who is, you know, it's a son of the person who Ivan killed. Yeah. Um, and that's and that's why I think, like, in terms of filmmaking level, uh, quality, I think Creed maybe is slightly better, but in terms of it being an emotional story that is... Like the story and everything, the characters, 
this tops it for me. This okay. is what makes okay. the film better. Okay. Um, I would have loved to see what the film would be like if Ryan Coogler had been returned to direct, or if Stallone himself had directed it. I think it would have been slightly better. Right. Because directing at times, I think, wasn't as good as what Ryan Coogler did. Right. There are moments during the fights when you can, we can see, yes, this could have been handled a bit better by someone else. Having said that, it's still handled very, very well. And there are moments when the film really shines. Um, the music is done again by Lavi Garanson, who did the first Creed. He also did Black Panther. He's done some great scores this year. Yep, yep. Um, the music is so good. It is the f the music is half of what drives Rocky films for me. You know, that that amazing film that Bill Conti com composed in the first film. You know, the 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 gonna fly now. It's such a it's such a, and and they riff on that a few times. But Ludwig continues on with what he composed the first Creed film which does riff on that Rocky theme but it's a, it's a Creed theme and it's so cinematic and epic mm -hmm. um, I'm not a sports movie fan there aren't many sports movies that I like so for this to really resonate with me on the level it does shows how good it is okay um, and the film is built entirely on the ra relationship between Adonis and Rocky and then the rivalry between these the, this pair and the pair of the father and son duo that is the Dragos um, Dolph Lundgren has a lot to do in this film, which is great to see. He wasn't just a in and out cameo, just to have him in the film. He has a lot to do. He has a lot of character development, much more than what he had to do in Rocky Four. In Rocky Four, you're just the big guy he has to go up against. Yeah. Here, you see what that um, event has done to Drago over the years, and it turns into this bitter, sour, just angry at the world person who makes him very. D and you see that environment that the. Um, that Victor, the son, has grown up in, and he's it turned him into this dangerous person. And he's pretty much like I, the the guy that um, Adonis fights in the first film. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, I mean, you're not you're not meant to like him. And I hated him because he's so, um, just vile and just you, you just he's just the kind of person you just love to hate. Yeah. Whereas here, I didn't. I never hated Victor, the son, because you see that he is a product of hate. Right, and he's he's just an unfortunate person who grew up in this, in this, awful lifestyle that that Ivan's pretty much imposed on his son because of what happened to him. Right. Yeah. So he's he's pretty much the tool, um, uh, he's he's pretty much Ivan's tool to try and get at Rocky and Adonis. Yeah. Get his revenge. Yeah. Um, and that's what Holcomb was built on, and it is so good. It has a the first Creed had a great training montage, which I thought was just as good as the first Rocky. This one tops it. Cool. So much. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing this. I, 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 like I said, I don't have a huge attachment to this franchise. Yeah. Or even the first Creed. I thought the first Creed was, was great. But I, I didn't, th you know, go to my gun. That's my favourite movies of all time. The, you know? the, the film is just incredibly um, inspiring almost. Even though I don't want to I've be heard a... from a lot of people that it is very intense. It's very intense. It's very emotionally driven. It's very character driven. It's very story driven. Right. Um, it's really, really great. If you have, obviously, it, it really helps to have seen the first few Rockies. Uh, well, sorry, all, all, all the Rockies, so you and can see, so so you can see where Stallone has come from, where yeah. the Rockies yeah. come from, um, but the films still work on their own because they give enough backstory that you still connect with these people, even if you haven't seen the original ones. Right. Um, like I've seen the original ones, but I've seen the first one much more than any of the sequels. I've only seen the sequels once, so while I knew the events, I can't really remember what happened in them. Yeah. But even with that, I was able to go into Creed and Creed Two and fully appreciate what they were getting at. Right. Um, it's very well written. Stallone co-wrote Creed 2. Yep. Um, and Stallone, he has had very much ups and downs. But when it comes to storytelling and characters, he has proven to be exceptionally gifted with that. Right. He, he devotes himself to that kind of stuff. Um, and he just throws himself in. I can't recommend this film enough. I'm giving it four and a half. Wow. That's yeah, high. Same as the first one. That's high. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'll... Bump this one up on my uh, watch list. Yeah, it's it's one it's it's definitely one of my favorites of the year. It's in my top ten without a doubt. Um, wow, really? Yeah, it's one of my favorite sport. It's it's probably my, it's probably my favorite sports movie. It's in your top ten of the year. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And okay. that's a, and this, it's a sports movie. Yeah. That is, that is topping all these fantasy movies that I love. It's topping it. Wow. Um, that's why I, mean, I would have loved to see what would have happened if Kugel had come back to direct it, but he was busy obviously doing Black Panther and other things. Um, okay, that's high praise. Yeah. Now you know what you're fighting for. Round after.
left around, you learn more about yourself. And when I stepped in that ring, it wasn't all about me. All right, guys, those are my thoughts on Creed 2 and Jai's uh, interviewing skills for Creed 2. Yeah, just, just a glorified interview. Yeah. <laughs> go see it. Go see Creed 1 as well. At the movies if you can. Yeah, well, just go hide I'll go back in time. Yeah, cool. Um, and you guys, definitely go see Creed 2 if you're a fan. Even if you're not a fan, go see it. It's great. Uh, what do you think of the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Is it as good as the first Rocky? Um, and keep an eye out for our future reviews with the big ones coming out at the end of the year and New Year's movies coming out. See you at the movies. Thank <laughs> you.